Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, live from Harlem in New York City. This is the Ramble with Alex Bennett. That's me, and we go until midnight tonight. So we've been spending the last uh, ten minutes dicking around with my camera, right? Yeah, very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, uh, that's Albert Reynoso, as you can tell, because I have right below me, below him, the name Albert Reynoso. So you will always remember his name as we do this. Perfect timing with this, by the way. I just got off my OnlyFans, but we got to rush it along because I have another session uh, very shortly. So, <laughs> me, me and uh, me and Jeffrey Tubin are going to do a session together one day. Oh, really? Good. Yeah, it's going to be great. Mm. Is his name Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Anyway, here. Oh, you know what I found out? Please enlighten me. You know how you have these these ten degrees of separation. You know. Yeah. Uh, and I now have uh, one one degree of separation from uh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, great! I I hope it's. I don't even want to think about what it might be. Well, let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, I went over to uh, what's the religious talk station it's not a it's not a they don't do religious talk all day long but it was oh it's uh, well they own wmca which is all religion all the time but then they also own this other station uh and i can't remember the name of the uh of the station but anyway they they asked me if i would go over there and fill in for a host they had because he was taking the night off for whatever reason Right. Uh, and his name was Arthur Idella, I think, something like that. You filled in for him before, I think, right? Yeah, I filled in for him one night. One right. night. He's Harvey Weinstein's lawyer. Wow. I didn't Don't know that. Him. Huh? Don't hire him. I won't do the show again. I'm sorry. I'm not uh, <laughs> enabling that sort of thing. Wow. You probably got renewed because I did such a good show, you know? I would feel guilty about that. Huh. Very interesting. Mm. That's, so that's one degree right there. One, one degree. One degree, Harvey yeah. Weinstein. Mm-hmm. So uh, what's been happening down there in FLA? Listen, I, I, I know you wanted to talk to me today. I, for what reason, I don't know. I don't know why you want to do these things. But, it, you know, and usually I have something to say, but I really have nothing to say. And I, I, I have nothing really, to say, too. What can I talk with Alex about? And I, I, I can't think of really any, because the news seems to be the same crap all the time. The You know, the TV series are starting to be the same thing over and over again. And I have nothing. I have nothing. Well, we have uh, 22 minutes left. Why don't we just sit here and stare at each other? No, I prefer not to do that because, as I said, I have the OnlyFans I have to get back to, so I could be losing money. You well, know? What OnlyFans are you? Do oh, you're doing the OnlyFans. Oh, of course, of course. Are you Look doing it naked? Look at that. Look uh. at that. <laughs> That's a preview. You want the real thing? You go to the OnlyFans. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I say this because uh, I, I learned about this the other day when I was sitting with neighbors having uh, uh, um, we get together and have wine and, and snacks and stuff. And uh, many of them didn't know anything about anything. Some of them didn't know there was pornography on the Internet. Uh, and then somebody Wait a brought, who doesn't know there isn't pornography on the Internet. Well, one of my neighbors has no idea that there's pornography on the Internet and, and has no idea that it's free. Most of it's free. Or it was anyway at a time before before OnlyFans, but I was I was enlightened to OnlyFans. Somebody called it fans only, but I checked and it's OnlyFans. So I immediately got an account. Oh, and can, well, maybe there are people out there who don't know what OnlyFans is who are listening oh, to us. I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they don't. I thought that clips for sale was the big thing. You know, I used to talk that about that on the podcast when I was on GabNet, and uh, apparently clips for sale is not a big deal. Anymore. 
Well, this is kind of clips. Go live. This is kind of clips for sale, isn't it, in its own way? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is this is more YouTube or Facebook because there's there's nothing titillating on here. Let's face it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, you uh, explain uh, OnlyFans so people will know exactly what it is because there's some people out there like your next door neighbor who never heard of. Uh, well, well, I I don't exactly know because I haven't been on it, and I really have no the porn that has been consumed in my lifetime. There's no need anymore for me to 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 really involve myself. You but don't involve yourself in getting porn anymore. Not not really. No, it's I, I've, I've got a whole hard drive here with filled with it. Oh, I know. It's like forty terabytes, right? Something like that. No, it's uh, yeah, it's forty terabytes. Forty terabytes of porn. Or pentabytes or whatever they're called. Do you know what? Here's um, here, look, before we explain OnlyFans. Here's the thing about porn. It never changes. No, it's not always really. the same plot. Yeah, it's like the movie you've seen eight thousand times. Okay. Sometimes they put a little energy into it. They put a little, you know. Uh, well, there, there, there are new, uh, I don't want to say innovations, but new uh, additions to things like uh, the kinks keep changing. They just add new kinks like there's probably the, you know, there's the plushies, the, the people who like the plush animals. OK, and I'm sure if you look up styrofoam cups, there is a group for styrofoam cups. What do they do? I don't know, but I'm sure there's a pornography for it. Every si styrofoam cups. Yes. Why not? Why not? Anyway, but basically you get down to the final end product of all the porn and mm -hmm. it's screwing and blowjob and coming. Not, not, but not always because there's, a, it, it, when porn on the internet started, it opened up the arena of fetishes and kinks and a lot of them don't even involve uh, uh, any sexual activity. I mean, because there's, there's one that's this, uh, this thing where you whisper I forgot what it's called. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, I really like that. And people love that. Really? Yeah. I, don't I forgot know. what it's I, called. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, because it's not your thing. No. But for your thing, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But, no, I, I mean, there are fetishes. I mean, it's like an S and M. But that's that's old hat. That's way back when, when you can only get it out from a well, from a magazine that you had to order for, away from. Excuse me for being old fashioned. Well, I'm I'm just telling you. I mean, you know, you're a tech guy. You know, every everything changes. Now there's now there are um, vibrators that you can activate. I don't know how by pressing a code or pressing your keyboard somehow that will activate the vibrator of the other person on the video. It's it's craziness, I, I guess a good craziness. But well, that I, makes sense. But, yeah, of course, it makes sense. That Should makes have been sense. That's comedy. taking technology one step further. I came yeah. up with an idea that you could uh, like put on a suit, okay, mm -hmm. and then uh, and, and a place for your penis to fit into yeah. in the suit, and then somebody on the other end could like have sex with you, and you would feel it all because the suit would be. You know, doing the tactile feel on your only body. a matter of time. Now, now it's just the vibrators, but down the road, only a matter of time. You know, there will be a time where you be you'll you literally be able to do this, and my camera will be able to sense what I'm doing, yeah. and you will have that suit on, and you will be able to Yo, feel. That's it. what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's not it's not far away. I'm sure. You know, and I, and it will feel just like you have the person there. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I mean, if if you, if it, all all you're ever doing with sex is you're using parts of your body and the tactile sensation on that part of your body, am I not right about that? Uh, you're you're somewhat right about that because a lot of it has to do with the psychology. It's the brain that is the sexual organ. So the t the tactile part is one part, but I mean, you you mentioned S and M. If you went to an S and M. Uh, studio or whatever whatever they're called yeah and and the person who you were there to be humiliated by doesn't humiliate you you've lost part of the thing right so it's not just the tactile it's the psychological as well yeah 
But I don't know. I'd rather have somebody there. And when it comes to porn, what I'd like to do is pleasure myself. That's you. That's you. Because you can if you, by the way, if you can't pleasure yourself to the porn you're watching, then it's not porn. You can't pleasure yourself to the porn you're watching. Then it's not porn for you. Yeah, but I mean, it's not porn. Right. If it doesn't, okay. the only fun, what is the only function porn has? What? Is it to build that a home? Off. No. That you get off. Huh? That you get off from That you it. get off. Yeah. And most porn is done for guys, by the way. I don't, no, nah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that anymore. And and part of the reason I don't believe that is is watching uh, movies and series on on Netflix and uh, Prime and things. People talk women talk about porn and and Oh, and you're right. I have seen stuff. I have seen porn aimed at women. I saw one the other day where uh the guy comes home mm -hmm. and uh, he takes his clothes off and she takes her clothes off. And they hop on the bed, and then she nags at him for an hour. That's the great thing about internet porn. You can mute. <laughs> See? Mute. You can have the tactile suit, and then you can mute. You can mute, yes. You don't have to listen to the other person. Where do you commute? In fact, in fact, if they have a nasty voice, a voice you don't like, an annoying voice, you can mute, and then you can put up, put up the closed captions. So you'll know what they're saying, but you don't have to hear this all the time. Yeah, it sounds like uh, what's, that her, that it sounds like hear. what's her name doing? Oh wow! Well. <laughs> don't say it, please. Don't say. It. Uh, don't I say forgot it. her name. You don't want. You don't want to. I forgot. Mind. See, in my old you age, I forgot her name. This is a woman that. This is a woman, ladies and gentlemen, that absolutely hated me. Can we say that? Well, well, let's let's pass by this. We've done this too many times. Right? What was her name again? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. But she hated me. Yeah, and you know, in your people. lifetime, it's nice to have somebody who hates you. That really hates you. Yeah, I, I have a good line of people. Do you have some people who hate you? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But you're so amiable. You know, people don't like other people for whatever reason. Hmm. I don't. It doesn't bother me. That means I don't get to be around you. This Good is driving me. me crazy. What was her name? I'm not going to tell Lynn you. Lynn Samuels. On. I don't want to talk about it. Well, let's talk about Lynn. I will go back to my uh, fans, only fans, if, <laughs> if it starts. She just hated me, and I never could figure out why. Did you ever know why she, did she ever tell you, here's why I hate Alex? I'm not going to talk about this anymore. We talked about this already. I mean, you want to talk about somebody else that hated you? That's fine. But this one we've beaten. Outside of the fact that she always said, she always said I didn't pre do prep. Yes, yeah, so you you're still talking about her. Yeah. yeah. Not going to happen. I'm obsessed. Well, obsess over something else. Oh, okay. Uh, who can we obsess over? Was there anybody else that hated me? Just about everybody in the building. Okay, fine. No, no. Is there anybody um, else that hated me? I don't think so. You know. Oh, I'm sure there were, but I, I they wouldn't tell me because I worked with you. You oh, yeah. So, hey, that they don't well, like I was you. a pleasure to work for, wasn't I? Most of the time, yeah. I think I was at that when point. I, at that point. I, when I got the saddle on you, yes, you were. Well, no, what happened is, see, I was a big deal in San Francisco. Okay, would you agree with that assumption? You were you were a big deal in radio, period, from from uh, your history. Really, it's very nice of you to say. I never oh. figured, felt that way. You know, as you're well, doing it, you starting never... starting in uh, in New York and doing the doing the what I think is a groundbreaking talk show on FM radio when nobody was doing anything like that at the time. Although I, I, I've heard other people claim that they started that, but I don't, I don't believe so. I can't put a date earlier. Well, let's that. say in commercial radio. Right, okay. Where it was harder to accomplish because yeah. you had to get past management in commercial right. radio. There was a station here, WBAI, that was very lefty, you know, Pacifica Foundation station. And they did a lot of kind of the stuff that I was doing. Only I was doing it. Somebody said to me, why don't you go over to WBAI and work? And I said,
because that's not a challenge. The challenge is to do it where they don't want you to do it. Right. You know? Uh, and uh, that's how I felt about uh, Alan Combs when everybody would go, oh, Alan Combs, what kind of liberal is he? He's over at Fox. Well, what better place for a liberal to be? And, it, and I thought that was a very brave thing on, on Combs's part. Yeah. He, he didn't have to work at Fox. Well, he liked working at Fox, but you know. He, but he was their house liberal, and he felt that somebody had to speak for the left, you know. So I felt that way in the early days. It was I when I was on a radio station, I'm and it was a rock music radio station most of the days until right. it finally went all talk. That my job was to represent the very people who were listening to that station, the young people. And, and none of the stations were, were really going after young people and, and satisfying their needs. So, Hence, you were the youth guru. I was the youth guru, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I went to San Francisco where I became the king of comedy. They always find some term, some name. And where were you when you were the man you love to hate? That was Houston, Texas. Oh, that was Houston. And was that after or before you were James Yeah, I was Bond? a right-wing talk show host there. <laughs> How did that work? Until I met up with Timothy Leary. And I, was, I went into this interview with Timothy Leary saying, I'm going to get him, man. I'm just going to nail him. And, and he, was, he was so pleasant and so, <laughs> you know... That well, he just, why did you he, want to he, nail him? That within a couple of weeks, I was doing LSD. And the next thing you know, the whole nature of the show changed. Hmm. Why, why did you want to get him? Because, you know, he was somebody to get. He was the, he was the guy telling Oh, just kids for the to, sake of it. Yeah, he was telling kids to use LSD. Do you really think that's good for them, Tim? Yes, I do. And <laughs> yeah. now we know it, it's, it's probably a good thing. Expand your mind. Don't overdo well, it. Well, I mean, the trouble with the trouble with LSD in those days, it was a very good drug. I had been interested in it years earlier when I was living in L.A. and I mm -hmm. was in the Navy, and I read an article in Playboy about LSD and that they were doing these these tests of it at out of UCLA. Right. And so I tried to find out where I could join up to try it because. This idea, because Aldous Huxley had written, written Doorways of Perception, mm -hmm. which was about, you know, this sort of thing. The See, Doors of Perception. It was the That's doors? where the Doors got their name. The band. I thought it was the Doorway of Perception. Oh, it was the Doors of Perception. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah. the Doors. The Doors of Perception. Anyway, uh, he wrote a whole book about using, I think it was, was it LSD or was it just, well, psychedelics. Yeah, right. Okay. And I wanted to try that. I liked something that would expand my mind, that I would, you know, that also would sort out a lot of my problems, mm -hmm. you know? So I, when I finally did LSD in later years, uh, I made sure that I had people around me as guides to kind of keep me grounded. And I took it, and I, every time I took it, I tried to solve a problem within me. I used it very therapeutically. Really? Uh, well, like what problem would you solve? Oh, uh, I was a hypochondriac. Well, that didn't work. Well, no, it, it wears off. <laughs> oh, it, it was a time off. where you weren't a hypochondriac there right after you did LSD? So for like 10 minutes after you came back from the LSD trip, you're like, man, I feel great. Oops, not anymore. Yeah, no, but I, I mean. No, I, but my I, hand hurts. I think the LSD <laughs> stuff worked for quite a few years, you know. Hmm. And then I started becoming worse. As you get older, you become uh, a, what a cartoon of yourself. Like I'm more a cartoon of Alex Bennett now than I ever was. Oh, you could not be any more of a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, Harry Shearer told me a wonderful thing about doing impressions of people. Mm -hmm. He said it's much harder to do an impression of somebody when they were young. Mm -hmm than when they were old. That's why we appreciated this guy, uh, uh, Thomas up at uh, SCTV, because he did a young Bob Hope. Right, right. And then he could do an old Bob Hope. Mm-hmm. You know, but as you get older, you become... And that's something. 
Huh? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, but that's the old Bob Hope. Do the, the young Bob guy? Hope. Do I, don't the, do, I don't do a young Bob. I only do the, in that something, Bob Hope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. in that something. You know, I got to tell you, I, and I was thinking about this, that I was going to be talking to you today, and I, I should bring this up, and I bring it up occasionally, but you don't do anything about it, but that is this guy here, there, um, uh, here, let me scratch that beard of yours there. You feel it? It got the suit on? <laughs> anyway, uh, wh where was I? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Old Impersonations. Oh, you were the first guy I ever knew who did an impersonation of Donald Trump. Yeah, well, it was and, a, it was a uh, I don't know if it was an impersonation, but it was uh, it was my take on Trump at the time. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it always made me laugh. Because nobody did it back then. Nobody but now was doing there are so it. many people that do a great you, Donald Trump. You know what I hate, though, is when I watch, like, uh, Seth Meyers or Stephen Colbert, and they mm -hmm. go into their Trump impression. They and to. they're terrible. They're ah, just they're terrible. I mean, your Donald Trump was the Donald Trump impression that all others had to be judged by. Oh, I, oh that's, that's way too much uh, credit. I'm not that good a, uh, a, a guy that does that kind of thing. No, not at all. Really? I, I appreciate you saying that. That's nice. I thought it was, it was dead on. It always made me laugh. Well, because nobody did it back then. And he was, he was starting to come up, you know, in, in, in the scene, in the political scene. Well, I scene. think he was already doing The Apprentice. He certainly was doing The Apprentice. Yeah, so people knew who he was. But he was staging himself to, to go into politics, and there were more stories about him at the time, and so he was ripe to be, uh, to be impersonated at the time. Yeah. I don't want to say mocked, because I didn't mock him. I just... No, you didn't mock him. I wouldn't mock anyone. Why do you think I was laughing? It was because you were mocking him. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't take credit for that. They may come and get me if they win again. So Remember I when I questioned him being a billionaire and said I would give him? Yes, you did. Bring your billions here. And, and put them on the table. Put a I billion bet. dollars on the desk here. You know, go down to the bank, write a check, cash mm -hmm. a check. We'll have somebody downstairs with a hand cart, you know. Bring us a billion dollars and just put it on the table here to prove, it, prove to us that you're a billionaire. He never did it. Oh, and he didn't do it for Letitia James either. Can you believe it? You no, know, he, he, he can't do it for anybody. The mm. only money Donald Trump has right now is the money that people send him. Yeah, for his sneakers and his Bibles. Well, and but also just, uh, you know, all that money that people send him for his campaign. Legal fees. Yeah, why are you sending a billionaire money? I never, I never can figure that. that out. If he keeps saying he's a billionaire and he's got plenty of money, why are you sending him money? Forget about the fact that he's asking for it. Forget about it. If he's got that. billions why of dollars. Why are you sending it to him? If he's got billions of dollars, why is he selling sneakers? Yeah. You don't hear Elon Musk saying, I need billions of dollars. I got to have billions of dollars. Help me send up my next rocket. You know, right, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. you never get that from Elon Musk. Uh -huh. You know why? Because he's truly a billionaire. Yes, he's got billions of dollars. That's why. And, I, uh, I don't think uh, he, uh, Donald Trump has two nickels to rub together, as they say. He doesn't really need two nickels to rub together because he will be taken care of by all the people who like what he does and like his ideology. So he doesn't need it, you know. Yeah, but his current product is simply Donald Trump. It's always been Donald Trump. That's always been his product. He's never had much more than that. Well, he used to sell his name. They put it on buildings. That's Donald Trump. That's now, his product. And now they're taking them off because that, that association and that name doesn't carry any weight with it. No. But who, but who else has that ability to do that? Anybody? I'm trying to think if there's anybody else whose name was just simply the, the product. You used to have you used to have guys like Ziegfeld and uh, Astor. Yeah, but they but they uh, Ziegfeld put on shows that people paid money to come and see, yeah. and Astor had billions. 
you know, a lot of money, or millions maybe in those days. But he had a lot of money. In fact, he built the building I'm in right now. Right. You know? So, so he had stuff he did. Trump doesn't do anything. He just sells his name. Well, a lot of a lot of celebrities do that now, and maybe based on him starting it. But look at all the celebrities. You know, Beyonce's got all these products. Yeezy's got these products. Everybody's got products now with their name. Yeah, on. but they're, but they 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 are performers who sell their name. They're they're licensing you know, their they're name. licensing like their Trump. name, but they they are in the entertainment business. Donald Trump never was. Uh, Unless you're, you're telling me Donald Trump's not in the entertainment business? Oh, that's very wrong. That's all. That's well, the we'll only business. We'll have to get into that it? next time because we've just run out of this time. Oh, good. I got to go to my OnlyFans. I got to make some money. Yeah. So uh, I'll uh, I'll I'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks here. Yes, you will, and I'll be I'll wear the same shirt because I like this shirt. Okay. Well, I'll wear this shirt. Okay. Okay. Notice this all is right. a KML. Oh right, where, was that where, where you were hated? The guy who you left to hate, or no, what was no, your no? That like was that? that was where they started loving me. Did they have a slogan for you then? Uh, for me? Yeah. No, no. In your comedy, you were the guy in the morning. I think guy that the was morning. the name. Yeah. That's, hey, that wants like, you to jump off the bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, that there is Albert Reynoso. Thanks, Albert. You. It was. Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, okay, there we go. Uh, Albert Reynoso, uh, former producer, current best friend, and I uh, think the world of him. I really do. Anyway, uh, let me see here. What am I doing? Well, I've been a little, uh, 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 a little out of it tonight because um, I'm always out of it tonight, right? No, but I'm out of it because I get a thing. You know what NordVPN is? You know, this is this outfit which uh, it gives you a virtual private network. That means that if you sign on and you want to steal something from somewhere else, nobody has to know who you are. Anyway, I signed up for it. And then tonight, I get this thing that says, I'm sorry, but your, uh, your, your, your thing didn't go through. Okay. So I, I, you know, I figure that you know, your renewal didn't go through. So I go to their site, and it seems I have two accounts there. One, which is a two-year account, and one, which is a one-year account. And one is cheaper than the other, of course, and, and that's my, been my, uh, I, have, I have two accounts. I didn't know that. So then it turns out that I have both of them resolve themselves at PayPal, which always goes through, you know, uh, unless maybe something's wrong with, uh, with Nord. So one of my accounts went through about a month ago or so, and the new one that's about to come up didn't go through. And there was something wrong at PayPal, but both of them went to the PayPal accounts, and I can't figure the thing out. So I went to PayPal. There's nothing wrong with the cards that I'm using. There's nothing wrong. You know, they haven't said anything like... Uh, Oh, you've got to you got to take care of this, Alex. You know, you really got a bad problem here. I don't have a bad problem, so I'm I'm and I never use Nord anyway. Okay, that that's another part of this. No no using of Nord at all. So uh, I I don't uh, I really don't get it. You know, but anyway, so somebody can maybe. I, I'm not even I'm not even going to worry about it anymore. Uh, you know, these guys are ripoffs and they're ripoffs, uh, and they don't uh, do their job right. Because I looked at other things that have gone through in oh say well something went through today. Netflix went through today on my um, uh, uh, what do you call it? PayPal account went right through using the same dime you know stuff as, as they were going to look for. Theirs didn't go through. 
Netflix went through today, okay, today, the 6th. So I don't get it. I don't get it, you know. But I also don't like the fact that I had two different accounts there, and they didn't, you know, they don't write you and tell you something like, uh, do you realize you have two accounts here uh, on the same account that you're paying twice for essentially two different versions of Nord VPN? No, they don't let you know. They just let you spend the money. This happened to me the other day with something, and I'm trying to remember what it was now, where uh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, I know, it was Marjorie. Oh, okay. Marjorie orders food, and we order from this Chinese food company, and we use Uber Eats, okay? So Marjorie is not completely with it anymore, all right? So she uh, goes ahead and orders the whole Chinese food thing, and she figures it didn't go through right, so she reorders it, okay? Well, the order comes, they send us two separate orders. Now, I, I'm sorry, Uber Eats or whoever's in charge of this, or, or Ollie's, who's the Chinese restaurant, didn't you look at this and say, well, you know, they ordered this twice. Maybe this is wrong. Let's give them a call and see if this is what they intended to do. No, we'll just make the money, and they just send us two different things, uh, orders, and they were almost identical. They were almost identical. I think we changed one thing the second time around. So uh, uh, this is the kind of thing that's getting so screwed up today with all the Internet and everything like that, and then the fact that people don't have the desire to make sure that you aren't screwed over. You know, hey, you didn't want this twice, did you? No, we didn't. Oh, okay, fine. We'll take one off and just send you the other one. Good. Thank you very much. You're very considerate to mention that to us. Hey, fuck them. Fuck all of them. Anyway, let me see here. We only have two people? What is this? Two people are, 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 are coming on to our... Uh, on to us tonight. Hello to Alan and hello to Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Alan. Hello, hello. hello it's the three Jews. Yeah, the three <laughs> Jews. Yeah. Well, I don't know how long we're going to do this for. You know. Uh, and by the way, Amy didn't have a show last night. No, she didn't. Yeah, why did you try? No, no, you told us. No, I told you. And, and no. then... One of her, her uh, guys on her show, Brian, um, not not the same Brian that gets on this show, uh, contacted us and said she has no show. Yeah, but but I told you, I didn't tell you she didn't have a show. I told you she was just having trouble and oh, she needed yeah. uh, one of those security numbers, you know. I was so shook up over my termites. Well, we'll get to that in a second, okay? <laughs> Boy, this is going to be a nothing show tonight. I don't want to tonight. talk about termites. It's going to be a nothing show tonight. Jeff, who doesn't have much to say ever. I mean, you know, but he's nice. He's here, and we I, appreciate it. And I like your monologue. You have two Nord accounts, and you only knew about one. But Marjorie's losing it because she ordered the the food twice. <laughs> I'm not sure which one of you is losing it. Well, no, I think that somewhere along the line, I was asked to do something and I did it, and maybe I upgraded to this other version and they didn't do away with the other one. That's what I uh, assume happened. But shouldn't they look at it and go, oh, wait a minute, he's got two accounts. He only needs one, and the second account is the one that's the everything account, okay? It's got everything. Why would he just order, and then why would he just order this other one? Are you sure that they're ordered under the same name? Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Interesting. yeah. It's yeah. interesting that in this day and age, they can't put two and two together. Well, that's the way things are. You know, if it isn't in the computer, if it were, if it seems right in the computer, it's okay. Well, I mean, I, you know, you don't order twice for a service you already have once. No. Or if you upgrade to a larger version of that service, then they should negate the old one, right? That's yes. simple. And they don't do it. They're screwed up. They're just so screwed. It's I have no word I love them. Hmm? They, just, they just offered me a five-year 
for $120. Yeah, well, what do you like about Nord? Because I find it completely annoying. It, it is sometimes annoying. Sometimes when you go to go on a site that says you can't get on it. So I change sites on Nord and it works just fine. Um, no, no, no. But here's the thing about Nord. VPNs in case Nord doesn't perfect. know, it's a VPN service, virtual private network. What it does is it gives you, uh, it sends you to different places in the world and the, the, nobody knows where you're writing from. And it's very good for people who want to uh, uh, con people, okay, and get away with it, you know. But anyway. So, you know, businesses started, it, the government started, and then businesses, so you can protect your location and who you are so they can't find your 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 uh your your internet address yeah well that but, goes... but wouldn't somebody who wants to rip you off also oh, use absolutely. the vpn for that service right oh yeah i'm sure it's used in illegal yeah, yeah. ways all the time so um uh, my question would be uh uh it, how is this a wonderful service if it, if it uh, is being used by people who are trying to con people yeah, well, it's not perfect. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, at least Nord, if they, oh, we're so into security and we're into this and we're into that, and you, yeah, well, just tell me I've got two accounts and then I only need one. But no, you don't want to tell me. Why? Because you're getting 100 bucks for one of them and 200 for the other. So, you know, I mean, it's, it, what were you going to say, muted, Jeff? Jeff. Jeff, your microphone is off. Who did that? There you are. There you Sorry. are. Sorry. Um, who is a company where if I get all kinds of what I call fake emails, mm -hmm. you know, join this or whatever, or it's it's almost like somebody's giving you a night and he, and he's supposed to know me. And it's, it's all garbage, okay? But is that what this guy does? And does he actually stop Well, it, it isn't a guy. It's a company. Okay, a company, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, what, what it does, it, explain it in terms that Jeff can understand because that would be terms that most people so, in there. So what it, does, what it does for you, if you, if you, there are 200 companies that put out VPNs commercially, virtual private networks. So what it does is it takes, you, you're, if I wanted to find where you were at and we were talking, I could go to a, a, a program that says whereas or who is or something, and it will give me your, um, your unique internet number. And I can look it up and I can say he's in Connecticut or he's in New York or whatever, and, mm -hmm. and, and who, you're, who, you're, who you're using. Uh, AT and T, Comcast, or whatever. Now, let's say you don't want people to know right. who and you so are. Right, and so that's where I was going. If you don't yeah. want people to know, you get a VPN, and you can move that. You can put the VPN for the fastest speed, which would be close to you somewhere, but not where you're at, and a different number, a different IP address is what it's called. And so you're now using one of Nord's IP addresses. So when somebody goes to try and find you, they can't find you. It works good. What it really works good is if you're in business or on, um, I guess for illegal stuff, it works good too. But um, it works good. Say you're in in some country, you're traveling, and you have this piece of software and you have the service on your laptop, and you want to go to YouTube, but they don't allow YouTube. So you take this service and you point it to some country that allows YouTube. It'll slow down because it's got to go, the, the information's got to go from their server, I mean, mm -hmm. from you to their server in another country and back to you again. So it does slow things down a little bit, but not much. Nord is very oh, fast. Oh, it slows it down a lot. So mine, I have a one terabit um, a connection, I guess one, is what one, it's called. One gigabyte. And, and one, with the wait, VPN man, on... You have a one gigabyte, not one terabyte. But, right. One, one, well, I, I, I took the terabyte from you. So, um, one gigabyte. Oh, I and do too. 
and it, it slows me down. In other words, well, you got a lot more equipment on, I'm sure, than I do. But when I test it, I usually get about 850 megabits per second. Well, every time I've tested it, I get sometimes as low as like 25. Wow. You know, and that it's time know, to get rid of your ISP. No, there's nothing wrong with my ISP. My ISP is Verizon. Oh. Probably one of the best in the country. Comcast, I like. So. You like Comcast? Oh. Well, it's what's available. It's very fast. Yeah, but and don't tell me I got to get a better ISP. They don't come much better than Verizon. Well, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. But, I mean, I just find that the VPN, and then when you go to things that should recognize you of course it doesn't recognize you so you have it to happens. re-sign in and then you have to re-sign in when you're not using the vpn it happens and the once only in a while. reason to use the vpn is you're downloading movies that you're not supposed to be downloading and you don't want anybody to know you're doing it that's what it was originally used for it, it also hides who you are it hides who you are so right. consequently <laughs> You can steal movies and things like that, and no, you know. So don't so tell when, me, when, don't tell me that this isn't being used for nefarious purposes. Right, right. So when Trump got in office, we had a, I can't remember what it was called, but we had protection, federal protection, from your ISP. Mine's Comcast, his is uh, Verizon, yours is whatever, Jeff, and they Verizon. can they can follow you around on the internet when you go to. To this company and that company, and then you go to something Pornhub. They can follow you around, and then they can track you, and they can start sending you emails to, and selling your name and stuff. The VPN stops them from following you around okay. because it changes your IP address to one that Nord uses. So it goes from you through Nord server, hopefully it's close to you so you don't lose a lot of speed, and then off to, you know, Macy's or something like that, and you can buy stuff that way. They're, 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 I love it. Um, the why, only trouble why do you this, love, why do you love it? Because what is Trump's it, what is it, what does it do that, that you, I mean, I'm not that paranoid. I don't care if people know where I'm going with my, you know, I don't know. I, I just like security. So. Well, I don't know that it's that secure. I bet we're going to no. find out eventually that one of these companies like Nord has been compromised and everybody's passwords are Yeah, known. well, there, there, there are companies that test them. And um, there's other other ones called ExpressVPN and, and TunnelBear VPN. And, and they do these companies that test like uh, 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 antivirus software to make sure it's working. They also test VPNs to make sure they're working. And so the reason I chose Nord is they really don't know who you are. It, you pay by a credit card, but you can pay by bit, Bitcoin if you want. They're based in Panama. And so if the U.S. government well, country says, I really feel safe about. Well. It is what it really, is. Really, I mean, come on. What makes them safer than so, anybody so what else? Happens if, what happens if the, somebody else had cloned you and was using you to... Um, what do you mean, clone me? Cl clone, cloned your IP address and was using your stuff, which happens, and went out and was defrauding In the government. In all the time that I've been on the Internet, and it's been a long time, that has never happened. Uh, okay, but it does happen to some people. Well, some uh, people. Ident but... Identity theft is one thing. Well, you know, it's like Bubbles says, you know. I, well, you, yeah. You, you know, if you want to steal my identity, go ahead, and then you'll have no life. That's right. You know? I love that line. <laughs> he, he's great. But um, so now the government wants, uh, uh, has a warrant for all your information every place you went on the Internet. If the VPN is owned by a country that has um, a contract with it, with other governments, it, uh, and I can send you a, a, a thing you might find interesting. It's called Five Eyes, Nine Eyes, Fourteen Eyes. And what it does is it tells the countries 
where certain VPNs are owned in that won't comply with the U.S. government's warrant to, to show where you've been. Oh, by the um, way, a good example of how you can use this nefariously, okay? So let's say you subscribe to Netflix, okay? Uh, if you use a VPN and you aim it to go to a server in England, for instance, they do. Sh they run shows on Netflix. They don't run on Netflix here. Absolutely. You can then sign in using your VPN to Netflix, yep. and of course your account is available everywhere in the world because you may be traveling and want to use it. You know, whatever. But you sign in using a British v a v a VPN site, and uh, you can watch the movies you can't watch over here. That's right. So isn't that nefarious? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not if you're not doing anything illegal. Well, maybe that is illegal because maybe. these things I are don't in know. copyright and they buy the copyright for a particular country, but not mm -hmm. for another country. And then they make it available in this well, country. China, when country. you go to China with your laptop, they make you take the VPN off so you can't hide your identity. Well, they won't, I don't think they'll allow VPNs now. They won't, they won't, I oh. went to, you know, it's funny, I went to China, this is very strange, when I was in China, I had heard about the fact that they block certain sites. So I went there, and yeah, I could not use, uh, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Porn, uh, Pornhub. But no, no, hold on a second. I couldn't use uh, Facebook, okay? I couldn't use, there were a couple of other things I couldn't use. YouTube? Too. I, th I think I couldn't get onto YouTube, I, but I, right. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I wasn't big into using YouTube in those days, so I don't know if I cared. Mm -hmm. But then I went to Pornhub, it came right up. Well, your, your VPN must have been pointing out I didn't China. have a VPN. Oh, really? Oh. So you were just logged on somewhere locally there? Yeah. Yeah, hmm. I found porn all and over. And now you're wondering why you have two VPN accounts. <laughs> no, kidding. Well, all I'm saying is, where's Nord by saying, you know, just notice that you've got two accounts. I bet I would bet if you contacted their customer service. Okay, and uh, try and contact their customer service. Well, yeah, yeah, it's not by phone. I just, and it's not by phone. And it works by email. I've had a couple problems, and they have instant chat, 24 hours a day. I don't want instant chat. I don't like it either, but I, I had a problem with it when I first got it. I went to chat, and the guy fixed it, and it was over with. And I've never had the same problem. Once in a while, when you go to a site, this happened to me today. I went to uh, some, some shopping, a Walmart, and it said, this, this address doesn't... Uh, doesn't work, try again on my browser. Mm -hmm. I, I figured it's gotta be the VPN, so I turned the VPN off, turned it back on, it found a new VPN IP address, hit try again, and I'm on Walmart. So yeah, they're far from perfect. Yeah, well, I mean, I just, and I don't like being charged twice for that. I wouldn't either, yeah. I wouldn't either. Unless one of you wants to use one of my accounts, I don't know, you know, but, but it says that this one account they could not get PayPal to pay it to okay the paying of it, even though it's paid off my Netflix today, uh, yeah. but it said they couldn't do it. And yet my other, uh, 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 what do you call it, the Nord VPN account did go through. Well, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe PayPal saw it and said, "No, they're double charging him, and he they shouldn't no, be doing no, that." No, I think so, PayPal oh. would have notified me of that. Oh, I don't, I don't use PayPal, so I don't know. I just noticed that they didn't, it didn't go through for them. Uh you know, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I just, you know, but they, they, this is a common occurrence these days, and I don't like it, you know, and nope. um. I'm, and, and why should I, I just find NordVPN to be annoying, at the very okay. least, all these, all these VPNs. Do you use a VPN, no. Kevin? No. Huh? No. No. Have you ever tried using a, a, a VPN? I used to use it when I was at work, when I, when I had work and they had a VPN for me here at home. 
Yeah. yeah. And what did you Never think? Used it. What did you think? It was a pain in the ass. See? Mm. Yep. <laughs> I find mine screws up once or twice a month. But that and, was uh, the early days, too. And, you know. Yeah. But they were, uh, <clears throat> they were a high security company, too. So they just kept kept going at it and they wanted it well a lot of most high security times. companies use vpns especially on travel computers so people can't locate you and and tap into your you know into your computer stream and and steal your information well has it ever happened to you no huh? because i've had vpn for a long time Mm -hmm. But I also have. Because I, also I, have. I don't care that much about it, and and I even get these things. You've been pawned. Three hundred sixteen million people oh, uh, had their yeah. their their uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, compromise their passwords compromised, and in spite of all of that, I've never been ripped off. You know? Right. So you know, I love these people that when something like that comes up, they change their password. You don't need to change your password nowadays set up the uh the thing where they send a text message to your phone and you put the, the that 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 uh, six digit code in and that's as good as changing your that's your annoying pattern. too yeah well they can't come up with something better than that yeah well, well <laughs> here, no here's, here's what's something. happening i'll give you an example i'll give you an example i have a business manager takes care of all my bills, writes all the checks, you know, sends out, all, nobody writes checks anymore, but he pays all the bills. Uh, occasionally, he's got to go on to a site, and they say, uh, and it's one of mine, it's one of my sites I do business with, they say, you've got, uh, we're, we've just sent you a, a security code. Now he's got to call me and say, they just sent you a security code. Will you tell me what it is? That's bullshit. <laughs> you know, I don't want, and then some of them are forcing you to use the double yes. uh, two-factor yes. identification. Yes, I hate when they force you. But they force you to do it, and the fact is that maybe you don't want to do it. You mm -hmm. know, I'm sorry, I'll take my chances. Oh, okay, if you want to take your chances, go ahead. But yep. it's like everything I do is two-factor uh, 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 auth authentication going on. That's what it's and called. And I'm sick of it. Everybody out there that's listening to the show, don't mm. send Alex any two-factor things. And the latest thing I get, I guess is a part of being on the black, dark web or whatever, I get things, and I have to tell Marjorie, don't pay attention to them, when they go, well, we just okayed your payment of $607 to blah, blah, blah. If this is a problem, click here. Wrong. Don't click there, okay? Because you're not going to get any help, but you're going to get screwed. Yep. You know, but you got to know just not to answer that sort of thing. Have you been getting those emails? I get them periodically. Yeah, I think I get texts that. like that, and I just push the little report junk and delete. Yeah, right. So anyway, you know, it's all, you know, uh, you know, it's funny that I, more than anybody here or anybody I know, has been a computer n nerd for years. I had computers before any of them. You, any of you, knew where to buy them. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and um, so I have been really somebody who believed in computers, loved the idea of computers, and now I absolutely hate them. What scares <laughs> me is artificial intelligence, how powerful it's getting and how easy it is for them to use it wrongfully. You, it's going to be used in the campaign. They just used it in uh, in India. The guy became president for the third time in a row. Modi but, or whatever his name is. Yeah. Yeah, whatever his name is. He just they had they had TV commercials that they were showing to him, where it wasn't him, but it was him his voice. Oh, it showed him dancing. I think was one. That's of the right. Things. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. The guy's an asshole. He deserves it. You know, uh, 
We can only wish the same for Trump. Huh? I said I only wish the same for Trump. Well, you know, what do you wish for Trump? Honestly. Uh, uh, well, that he has a heart attack before the uh, election or something. I don't know. Mm. I agree with that one. Really? Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I want to see him have a heart attack. Why not? Yeah. And then Jeff can supply him with one of the faulty valves that he developed. <laughs> I don't have any yeah. bad. Well, uh, uh, speaking of Trump, I saw a great article today about Trump. Um, somebody wrote a book about, I think, Trump and a few other people. And he interviewed Trump about the times that he was doing The Apprentice. Mm -hmm. And he did The Apprentice for one year for I don't know how much, I think, you know, $250,000 an episode or something like that. So it comes to renewal, and he wants $100 million a season. And he says, because... Those is, that's what the people over at Friends are making. And I want to make what they're making because I got higher ratings than they do. Which if wasn't I was true. a broadcasting company, I would say goodbye. Well, it happened to be uh, Jeff uh, Zucker, who was in charge at that time. And basically, he told uh, uh, Trump, go take a hike. If you don't want to re-sign with us at this amount, we'll just find somebody else to do the damn program. Right. You know, it's been good for you, it's been good for your image, it's been good for uh, the Trump Corporation in establishing their worth, you know. So if you don't want to do it, we'll just get somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. But he no. figured he was worth that money, he was worth this incredible amount of money. And Zucker just went, are you out of your goddamn mind? He said, to begin with, Friends has been on for nine years now. Those people only started making that money a couple of seasons ago. But, I mean, they've been around for nine years. You've only been around for one year. You could fail in your second year, and we're going to give you $100 million? Uh, he showed them. He failed in his first or second day as president. Did he? Yeah, come on. He was a mess. He was a mess from the get-go as president. So, well, I know what you're saying. I'm I'm sorry. I I'm don't changing. think he was a mess from day one. You know, okay, day two then. I don't know. I know he won't be a mess from day one now because he's going to be a dictator from day one. So he has yeah. his priorities. You know, we were talking about privileges that he gets taken away from him. Another privilege that he gets taken away from him in most states is he has to turn in his firearms, including Florida. Does he own any firearms? Uh, well, if he does, he has to turn them in. It was on the news last night. And California is that way. If you're convicted of a felon, you can't own a firearm. And if you're in possession of you a know, firearm... You know, I, I got to tell you, there's this trial going on right now with uh, uh, Hunter Biden. Right? Yeah. And what he's being charged with is falsifying information on a government form when That's he right. tried to get a gun. And That's the question right. that he falsified was, are you a drug user? And he are said, using, no. Are you using illegal drugs is I think the way Something it's Something like that. Yeah. Right. Doesn't right. matter. It's not gonna change the point I'm trying to make here. Hmm. Why aren't his lawyers saying, that question being asked on a government form is self-incrimination? And that it's against the law to create something in which people will self-incriminate themselves. Oh, it's a, it's a way, you know, there are a lot of people that smoke pot. And if you smoke pot on a regular basis, you got to say, yes, I smoke pot on that form to buy a firearm. In yes, place. but pot is legal in most states now. But it's not legal federally, you know, completely yet. So you you got to no, be honest. Saying, if you're honest, it, you're not going to get the gun. But Does it ask it, you if it, you drink a lot? No, which is which is strange, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I don't want a guy to have that. There, there are a lot more people that get drunk that use guns and kill people than there are people that get stoned. 
and and uh, you know getting stoned they don't even think about taking the gun out they just think about where's the next joint at or whatever <laughs> yeah no they don't they don't care about alcohol it's a to you know to people like but what I'm saying though is is that not self incrimination I mean if I you are, yeah, if, you're, if I were filling admitting, that form you're out that you're, you're admitting that you're using illegal drugs. That's yes. correct. But you know, if you admit it and say <laughs> yes, you won't get the gun. So it's a it's a if it's, you admit it, you won't get the gun. If you don't admit it, which you probably don't want to because this is a government form, you don't want the government to know you're doing crack. That's right. Right? So it's self incrimination. So why aren't his lawyers saying self incrimination? It's against the law, think. you know? I like how well, Dan is probably be, because. What, what, Jerry? Go ahead. There, there, you, there may be agreements in that state that says that you can't do that. That the that the attorney can't can't uh, allow that agreement. Hmm. Allow that what? The the uh, Biden that he is violating a law in well, this state. Well, he's violating by, by lying on a federal form, but he only lied because he didn't want to incriminate himself. That's right. Okay? And he has the right to not incriminate himself. It, it's your right when you go to court to not say you're guilty. With, with that's, that the key, that's the key point there, though. You're only under that... Uh, you can only incriminate yourself when you're in court and under oath, correct? Uh, That's right. Well, it's self-incrimination because let's say you say, yes, I'm using crack. Can the government... Yeah, you don't get the when, gun. You're fill, when you're filling out a form, you're not under oath. That's right. But, yeah. but then if you're not under oath, why are they charging him with a crime for not answering that honestly? Because they gave him the gun, and if he had if he had answered it honestly, he would not have got the gun. Mm -hmm. I th I still think there's something very wrong with that. You know? And there may be. But, I'm trying to uh, say that it may not be that the lawyers are not allowed to buy guns if. They are also taking drugs. Yes, but are people going to admit? That, you know, people are in a state of denial. I said the lawyers have maybe no, they could the, lose their no, but legal this has job. nothing to do with lawyers. It, this has to do with him having signed a government uh, a, 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 a application for a permit mm. in which he supposedly lied. And that's a crime. They can put him away for thirty-five you're, years on this deal. You're not. You're not going to like what I say, but I'm going to say it. Anyhow. I don't like half the things you say, but <laughs> right, that's right. So I'll say it anyhow. It's what a form of gun control. Oh come on, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Most, yeah. most people. I mean, not most people, but a lot of people um, use drugs. Uh, you smoke a joint. I don't know. Do How uh, many people do you think lie on that form? I was just going to say that. A I mean, lot. A and, lot. Of and people. how many people do you think are getting caught except for Hunter Biden? Yes, right. Very yeah. small amount. Yeah. It's it, well, the he, same he, thing he, that they're, I mean, they're, oh, they're going after Hunter guys. Biden. The only thing like he's we're going guilty after of, Ron, the, Donald Trump. The only that's thing the, he's guilty of is being a Biden. That's right. right. And just like Trump is guilty of being a Trump. Trump would pardon his own kids if they were found guilty. Biden you know, today said, Biden hey, he said wouldn't pardon, Biden, today he wouldn't pardon Hunter. Today Biden said that he is not going to pardon his son. That's what I just said. Yep, that's yep. right. So, well, that, that's, yes, that's yes, fine. Tony. You know, I was going to actually see. I don't know the gun laws per se. How you get a gun? I'd have to look that up. But here's a question: If anybody knows it, maybe Alan might know it. If you go to get a gun, right? Say in your state. If, if it was up to me writing these laws, I would want to have the person getting a gun, first of all, actually have to take a drug test. I mean, even if it's even if it's every 30 days that you're having the gun, I'd want to know that the person who has the gun is clean, really. 
Do they yeah, make I mean, somebody, the somebody could say I'm not a uh, – all they're trying to establish now is that he was a, a crack addict at the time. Right. But if he wasn't and the next day became a crack addict, it'd be okay if he had a gun. Right. You know. But right. I, I also think there's one other factor here. This is a guy who had a crack problem. He had a drug problem. Yeah. Horrible drug problem. Admittedly. Admittedly. And he has turned his life around and is not a drug user any longer. He's cleaned himself up. Okay. What's the reward for that? Being put on yeah, trial, right? you know, six years, seven years after the fact? Mm -hmm. Not looking at getting clean as a form of redemption? What does that say to yeah. other drug users? Yes, uh, Brian? Yeah, if a guy shoots somebody and kills them and then gets goes to church and be saved and got rid of his gun, doesn't mean he shouldn't be yeah. in trouble for what he did. But you can't turn your mic up a little bit. You can't. What? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Or turn yourself up, one or the other. But uh, I, do, I just think that. it's, uh, I think it's a sad uh, situation. You want my opinion? Well, I, 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 what Kevin said is true. Ninety-nine percent of the people that use drugs, mm. illegally, even smoking marijuana, let's just use that as an example, um, lie on the form. How many people get caught lying? First of all, the government doesn't have that many agents to go. Hunt down all those people to find them and stuff. Well, because Very you're going to have the few. entire Republican Party going after you. Absolutely. Very few. And the Democrat Party, too. But very few people get, get caught because they only go after somebody with cause. And the cause in this case happens to be you're going after Trump, so we're going to go after your son. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. How you doing, Brian? Doing good. <laughs> uh, Brian came to talk to us about VPNs. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, is that what you, I, I haven't listened. To That's the before. Alex wasn't. It was it was it was Jeff and me and Alex for about the first twenty minutes, and we talked about VPNs. So, yeah, it was the most boring twenty minutes. You of missed it. Podcast yeah, you, you ever yeah. heard? I'll, yeah. listen, I'll, I'll listen to it when I'm trying to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'll fall asleep hand. real quick. Yeah, I, I think. I agree with Jeff. Is that what happened to Charlie? Did he fall asleep and you logged off? That talk? No, he's probably a tot there. He's probably coaching baseball or softball. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, we, the cat went home. Oh, that's oh, right. Man. More <laughs> pussy. Were you babysitting <laughs> a cat no, nothing again? Nothing sadder than more, no more pussy. <laughs> no more pussy for Alex. Yeah. Oh, God, that's horrible. What? That you, that you, there's no more pussy for Alex. Yeah, right. Well, the thing got me about it. Okay. This is another little uh, little thing that, uh, you know, gri gripes me a little bit. Marjorie finally wound up hating the cat. What? I thought she liked the cat. <laughs> well, it turns out that <laughs> the cat started oh. picking on the rug. Oh, oh yeah. scratching a couple it? little shreds came out. Oh. You take out a ball for maybe would have. Why didn't you just now, open the window and let the cat go outside? Said, if I if I brought any of you over here, and I said, "There's our rug. Find out where the cat tore it apart." <laughs> I got There's it. There's no way I mean, you'd be able to find it. Oh really? So it's a shaggy rug then you got? No, it's not a shag rug. It just uh, is not that profound. Okay. And, oh, and she could say, well, because the cat shredded our rug, and I hate the cat now, and I'm going. <laughs> I hate the cat. Aww. That's what a cat does. I was going to say, okay. don't they scratch? I remember they would scratch, right? I remember my neighbor had a cat. Well, you know, I, there are ways of doing You want to get rid of the cat, open the window, put some friskies on the ledge, and it's gone. The cat doesn't <laughs> like friskies. Oh, you're to do it. I don't know. I don't know much. I've never no, owned a cat. Uh, 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 the fact was that, you know, cats will be cats. Uh, however, we did on the uh, on the couch, we did uh, spray the couch with some stuff that makes cats not want to scratch it. Yeah. But, but you couldn't afford to do that on the carpet. Well, we didn't think to. to because the, the cat would, like, do the carpet in here, but she could do this for 
tw- 20 hours and not begin to even make a, a, yeah. a nick in it. The other one's a little more tender rug. Right. I, I've never owned a cat, so I really don't know what they do and don't. Just get them a scratching post and... Yeah, they're usually yeah, doing their stuff. I see those in people's houses, and well, I uh, I once you had got a, a couple of them around the house. I once had a they chair just go to that. that the cat the, uh, my cats like to pick at. <clears throat> so finally, I gave it up to them. And that was yeah, it. we've got one of those too. Yeah, and you just let them do it to that, and anything else, you yell and scream at them. You know. Squirt water at them. I got a squirt bottle. You really? You got that? Okay. But oh yeah, they hate some, it. There's also some stuff you can't put on the furniture too. that that will keep them from scratching you on it. You might. You know. I, I'm gonna train Kansas to squirt you, Tony. He probably would. He, he runs me. My two female labs, they're spoiled. They run me, but him, he's like a big boss. This one, but he'll let me wet him. Like I wet him today before going to the afternoon walk. And then when he he sits there, and he lets you wet him. Then he'll roll wrong. on the grass because he wants you to you know, take all of my so We gotta go. I said, come on. I got to go to the post office. I said, yeah, why did you wet him? Because you know why? It was very humid today. So in the afternoon, I try to wet him down with a sponge. So he's a little cool when we do our walk. No wonder that dog thinks you're weird. <laughs> he lets me do it, too. He doesn't care. Because he knows it. it was hot. It get, Alex, it was, I don't know if you were out today. It was muggy in the afternoon, I thought. It was muggy today, yeah. Wait, what a yeah, creep you are. Chair. You should have left him in the house with the air conditioning on. No, he comes out through the doggy door. All I, do, all I do is say Kansas, and they have like a ramp. He comes right out, and the big shot. I said, here he comes. <laughs> well, this is the second most boring thing we've yeah, talked about. Do you think Kansas would protect you if you were walking down the street and somebody attacked you? Well, I'm going to tell you something. Funny you said that. Truthfully, when I pick up the poo, Alex, and I do. Oh, here, boy, this is getting could, really exciting now, everybody. This is not well, what I was talking if, about. If, if, oh, if, no, if, you aren't recording, if you aren't recording oh. this show right now, start doing it. Okay, go mm-hmm. ahead. No, you know what he does? I was, when you pick up the pool, I was picking up the pool one time, so I didn't see somebody walking to me. Do you so pick it up with your bare hands? Because he did a nice little load, do you put, and he stood right in front of us. What's the matter? And he started, like, growling, and it was like a strange-looking, I don't know if he was a homeless guy or not, and he stood right in front of me, and the guy kind of went the other way. I said, oh, wow, good boy, I said. He's, I told uh, Janet, says, the guy, the yeah, homeless yeah. guy was going for the poo. No, he's he's it well, this he is why I don't like dogs. Alex said he keeps going with that. I'm not, I'm used to boys the now when he lifts the I leg. I don't like coming. dogs is, I, you know, the idea that I'm going to have to take a little bag with me. And when the dog takes a dump, uh, I have yeah, to be yeah. behind him with the bag. And I feel like, yeah, exactly. That's enough to Kansas. turn me off to dogs. Fortunately, Kansas, Tony's got Kansas trained to take a shit on Trump's old lawn. No, oh, there's a house, again. Alex, that has here Make America go, Great again. again. And I always try to make him do something over there. He doesn't live near Trump's old house. Oh. No, but there's a, there's a house that's a Republican over here that they oh. have all like Trump, Make America Great. They have like. It's like it's all decked out, and it's like oh, every so time I go you, to that house, I like I don't. Why don't you pick, pick up the poop and put it on the porch then? <laughs> I won't do that. I do never do that. And I was like, look at this loser house I tell Kansas. <laughs> I said, oh man. Yeah, Kansas, you I ready? Apo- yeah, I, I, I I apologize for this. Not only Tony, but the fact that <laughs> Alan just can't shut up tonight. <laughs> so. What do you mean tonight? <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> I thought Phil was going to call in one time since then. He hasn't called in. No. Who? No, he doesn't call anymore. Who? He's turning 70, Alex, I think, the end, the end of the month. We're really? going to talk about Phil. Yep. The Phil, big... Phil is in at some golf resort or something like that for a business trip. So you think he wants to ruin his business trip? So it's uh, probably stealing the sheets in the hotel. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, those are too high a quality compared to what the sheets on his bed. Take the sheets. I never forget. We went to south of the border. My mother's like, these sheets are nice. I wanted to take some more You can't take the sheets. So, <laughs> so we went to, they had like a shop where you can buy the sheets. Man, have you guys taken this show south? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. That was like in the halfway point of Florida. I remember that. I told that to Shecky once. He was laughing because he remembered when he must have drove down there. Oh, what's that? What? I hear audio. Was that me? 
Yeah. No. Maybe that ugly sound you hear, that's you. Yeah. Oh, that is me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there was a little bit of music in the background for a minute. Anyway, where was I? I have no idea where I was. Anyway. You were talking about being charged twice for a VPN. No, that was an hour ago. Um, we were talking mm -hmm. about Biden with the uh, him roping him in. Well, what's anybody, any idea what Trump's VP? Has he said anything? He said he'll decide in July. They had a stupid picture. It, it was a meme or whatever, but I don't know if it was real or not. But they said the reason why the list hasn't come out and it has Epstein and it has Kamala Harris next to him. <laughs> Conspiracy. Man. Well, we found out so last stupid. night because. Charlie and somebody else. Marco Rubio like, can't be his. Marco VP. Rubio and 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 the sanctimonious can't run with him because they're from the same state. Um, I'm kissing his ass. There's something in the Constitution about both the president. Oh, and oh vice yeah, president Don Giller came on. Yes, so Don said it. It, part of the Second Amendment. Yeah, so, I I believe Don. So you know, nice guy. Isn't the Second yeah. Amendment the same one for guns? Yeah, I guess so. So, so what part did you guys talk about Bannon? Yeah. He, oh he yeah, must... Bannon finally was told by the judge to report to, for uh, prison July first. By July first. Oh, he's going to be. In, uh, how be in how long is the what? sentence? Do you know? I think they say four years. Three or four years, something like four that. Three years, I think. Ah. Yeah, be not, I, because he was loyal to Trump. He'll be out for two in two years. And he's gonna be in for the fourth of July. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, <laughs> they probably, give him a sparkle. <laughs> probably. Well, you know, all these people have been very loyal to Donald Trump, but he never was loyal to them. No, I don't all know. Jail. You know, and I don't know why they stuck with him. So if they're not gonna charge if they're not gonna try they mm. already charged him, Trump, on these federal cases. Why don't they spend their time going after Rudy Giuliani now? Well, they they didn't say they're not going after him on those cases. They're just not immediately going to go after him on right. those cases, so that it won't re resolve itself before the election is over. That's right. If the election is over and he wins, obviously he's not going to be charged. That's right. He's already charged. He won't be. They won't. They won't take it to court. But that does not vacate the New York felony. No, that's it a state matter, and it does not get, you know. Well, he's appealing the state matter, and so, you know, it it might get overturned. Yeah, but, but no, know. but no, but most appeals, especially in New York, do not go through. I don't know. I'm not. They New hear York. your argument, but in most cases, they will go on the side of the court. They did with my situation went not only to the appellate court, but also to the Court of Appeals, which are not the same thing. And in both you're cases, not, it was sent you back to charged the, being, You weren't charged, nobody was going after you criminally. No, but still, case. they had the right to appeal. Right. Because there was a penalty, basically. And uh, the uh, they, they didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to... Uh, uh, Spend more money. Yeah. So... Uh, it, but but uh, you you can appeal, but appeals usually do not mm. come out. They do not work in your favor. Right, appeals isn't bringing more more evidence to the case. Right, it's just explaining some of the evidence. It's saying that there were mis inaccuracies in the way the trial was held. Right. Uh, they have an argument why the judgment was not proper. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically, uh, I don't think I don't think the appellate courts in here in uh, New York or the uh, Court of Appeals are going to find that that was a bad trial. You know, he's just going to say the reason why is it was a witch hunt, and that's his case. Well, no, he can't use that as an argument. <laughs> you know, he can say the judge the judge did things that were wrong, the prosecution did things that were wrong. You know, but the thing is, that whole trial was pretty much on the up and up. Wait, unless the lawyer uses the appeal as the courtroom was too cold and the jurors were clouded with their 
they couldn't come to the right decision. <laughs> joking. Yeah. Well, you know, the truth of the matter is so far, and that we don't know about the rest of it, one of the uh, jurors has said he not only is a Republican, but he voted for that. Trump and was planning on voting for Trump again. Yeah, I heard that too. Is that true then, Alex? I heard yes, that. and yet he voted guilty. So, I mean, come on. That, that, that guy voted for you twice. He's going to go there, third. there is your one guy that could have thrown it into a, you know, into a hung jury. And right. he didn't. So give him some credit for, you know, he's a fan of Trump's, but he didn't like what Trump did. So the, Doesn't yeah. Trump understand if you want a hung jury, you got to pay the guy in cold hard cash in a bag, and you can get the hung jury. By the way, not the promise. <laughs> time for our daily late last minute caller, and it's time. Wait till we see him for Don Giller. Don, <laughs> you there? Is it him? Oh, or is it some nasty oh, guy? Oh, this guy porn. Oh. There he is. Oh my God! That's that's Don. Yeah, Hello, Don. Don. I got five minutes. <laughs> yes, Don. Bat Bannon's prison Bannon's prison term is four months, not four years. Oh, okay. oh four who months. Said, who said four <laughs> years? Brian, I did. Oh, okay. But I thought he was right. I saw a four something. Wait a minute, I got five minutes. I've got echo here. I got to fix what, something. What, what, you know, Don, what echo. amendment? Bannon's prison term is four months. That's your browser. Yeah, you said that yeah, already. Yeah. Let me. All right, time out. Let me fix it. Right. Pam, Pam, please go to Don's house. <laughs> <laughs> Manhattan. Uh, there we Peter go. The Take the one. So it's only four months. <laughs> Jeez, that's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You sneeze, it's going to be that old. That is 4th of July. Yeah. At least he's in for the 4th. Out that? with good time. Four days. Have a nice No, he's going to be out for Halloween. No, but it was four months. I mean, couldn't they give him home confinement? Wouldn't that be more practical and cheaper on the public? Uh, I'm sure it would. You know. Are you okay, Don? Have you figured it out yet? I'm going to hang up and dial again. Uh, well, we're Brian, almost, we're almost through here. We got about two minutes left. I like it's it. It's working, Don. Talk to us. Get ready for I'm not face off in Atlantic uh, City Casinos dueling drawings going on now through. Sometimes you got to figure out where it's coming from. I mean, I understand the problems that Jeff has from time to time, you know. But basically, right. if you're getting any kind of feedback this. of the program, it's probably that. from your browser. Let's go here. Ah. This is actually not the browser. <laughs> this is some other show. Is it got. okay now, Don? Yeah. Don? Is it okay? Oh, boy. Well, anyway, see, now, Jeff, you don't have to feel this right. bad. Okay. Yeah. Browser. This anyway. Is Okay? We got about oh, we got one uh, about thirty seconds left. Don? Nice to see you. I, I, this is not working. No. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, we're going to be playing a theme here in a moment, so uh, we can say goodbye to everybody and so on. Uh, I want to thank our crowd for being here today. Uh, Jeff, nice to you. good having you here. He's still you're still down in Atlanta, right? Monday, I'm coming home. Monday is coming home. Uh, and uh, uh, Alan, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, the two of you were here for the first 20 minutes of the show. So thank you. Thank you to Kevin for joining us so that it didn't look like an empty house. Then all of a sudden we had Tony joining us and finally uh, uh, Brian and, and, and uh, finish off the show with Don Giller which would usually be a real treat, but, eh, you know, whatever. Won't be on tomorrow night, just to let you know. Huh? I won't be on tomorrow night. You won't be on tomorrow night? Why won't you be on tomorrow night? Uh, traveling. You're traveling? Where are you Who's traveling to? Uh, just getting out of here for a few days. Oh, oh. okay. Well, have a nice trip. Yes. Okay. Yep. Some sanity. Have fun. Have, have fun. fun. Okay. Thank you. Pick, uh, pick me up. I'll be ready with my Kevin, bag. Kevin, again, thank you. I just, I just looked. I started <laughs> playing the music a minute early. 
Anyway, thank you, Kevin. Thank you to Tony. We appreciate it. Good morning, Anthony. Uh, and uh, Don, uh, did you get it fixed yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow, Don. Well, quickly, what was on your mind? Uh, uh, you said Albert was your new best friend. Oh. So he's getting all the shecky money. Thank you very much. <laughs> We'll never hear from Don again now. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Is the theme still playing? Oh, yeah, it's still playing. Anyway, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, next is, uh, hopefully, Amy Manuel with the uh, intersection. And uh, she'll be taking your calls on GabNet Live on Skype. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.